to create. Hein Can I point out that I don't care about character creators anymore at all in any game ever? Any game I've ever played has a character creator. It is not a feature to have a character creator. Okay? Character creation is not gameplay. So I don't care detailed characters, but as it currently stands, you can only make humans in the world of PAX Day. I'm not sure there's any plans to add additional races, but you know, that's okay. It's pretty much got all the bells and whistles that most Unreal Engine 5s are boasting, which unfortunately, because of its focus on humans only, tends to get labeled as a bit generic. However, after creating my beautiful- Character creation is a part of the immersion, but it's not a feature. <laughs> Well, okay, I'll actually point out, for a lot of people, it is. For me, I have no connection. I do not... Like, yes, a cool character is fine. Um, and I like making a cool character look cool. Uh, but it doesn't... The immersion isn't... It doesn't give me any immersion. Um, and I'll even argue... I think this is really important. Uh, while having a character that looks cool is a part of the immersion, the... Gameplay of character creation is not immersive. Nobody in the world stands in one spot. Or, sorry, the creation of the character, I'll let me rephrase it this way. Um, if it works in any type of genre, it's not a part of the gameplay that adds to the immersion. Uh, it's a cheap way of adding immersion. Now, I, again, I, I agree having... The character look cool and look what how you want them is immersive. Which is why the way I like things like, well, yeah. I just don't think it's a gameplay feature. It's not a gameplay feature. It's a, it's a hey, look, you can make your character whatever you want. Uh, now, I'm a fan too of like, for example, Rust. I've mentioned this before. Rust, you don't actually get to select your player. Your player... What what your player is with black, white, woman, man, fat, skinny, big PP, small PP, is based off of the random generator of your of your account, um, and that is actually immersive. And then you have to build your character as you go. You have to like have clothing and things as you create as you as a part of the game. The clothing and everything is part of that creation. Because in real life, you don't get to select what you look like. You just you just are. So we have to question in, in two perspectives. Like, yes, if you're playing a character in the game, making the character look how you want to play that character allows you to immerse yourself in the story you want to tell. But I, in reverse, it's it, in terms of gameplay feature, it's not really a gameplay thing. Uh, then they're not marketing to you on it. So the fact it exists is something they can market. So what it feels like is you're framing it like I'm saying there shouldn't be any form of character creation. That is incorrect. Okay. I absolutely believe there should be lots of character creation. That's what I'm pointing out. But the actions of a character creator are not immersive. They're not gameplay. So are there ways that you could have character creation in the gameplay that allows you to dictate the way that your player looks while you're doing it or in some immersive style? Is there some section? So for example, potentially you have a gameplay element where you have like a city or something and I, I don't, there's a million ways and you have to choose like a bloodline or something of people that come through and like I'm, I'm not again it's just like more of gameplay theory stuff but I don't believe I really don't the creator itself the character creator just give me blender man <laughs> like, like that's what I feel like whenever I open up a character creator I'm like okay well what's a good preset what's a preset that makes them look cool what's a preset that makes them look like what I wanted to kind of look at and we'll go with that but I feel like I'm like I just want to play the damn game can you make me allow me to like make my character and have it as a game I want to be in the thing that I'm doing I want to be doing the thing that I'm doing right I'm not against the options that are there I'm against the t frame of time. If you take, if you have your game and your game is this period of time, right? And I want to get in and I want to play it. Then, and you make me have this chunk of time that is a character creator. I'm like, this is not my game. 
When you build a character, is to show ownership or make them look like you so that you can come back. You can just hit random if that's what you're wanting. Y yeah, but I, I, I still don't think you're understanding the time. If I have a show and I want to immerse people in a certain amount of things, and you have to sit there and you have a TV and you have a timeline, right? You do have certain ways that you introduce certain characters into certain environments, right? The way that you do that is do you monologue? Do you not say anything and you just show features? Culprit spends like 30 minutes to an hour. I know. I know that. I like like I I know that the 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 character creator is something that people spend a lot of time in and a lot of development in. But I'm not critiquing again, I'm not critiquing the outcome. Because what you're talking about is like you want to have the outcome together in a single piece. Like this is a it's really um it's just a perspective thing, right? I understand exactly where you're coming from. But how we introduce it, menu, character standing there, um, ah, uh, not the best, like, not gameplay, right? Um, it's not a feature. It's it's one of those like, ah, shit, to do the thing that we have to do to make something look cool or do what we wanted to do. We have to do this thing which isn't that fun, which isn't even gameplay, which doesn't give me any insight into the world, which doesn't do anything. I'm, I'm using Russ as an extreme example to the opposite corner where you get no selection of your character's physical appearance, but you get selection over your character's uh, aesthetic experience with different things that you stick on you. Right now, that's a way of doing it, but there's got to be a layer of somewhere in between no decision and menus that you click on. <laughs> there's got to be some kind of thing that, it, to me, to me, something that you would tout. To, and I know we've got a huge tangent here with just uh with just this one little comment about a character creator, but like to me, the character creator isn't a feature. It's like a the the, to me, a feature would be like, wow, and you get a way to customize your character while you play the game, while you're in the game, while you're doing whatever you're doing. Maybe, maybe, like I say, imagine if it was like a Skyrim style city or town and you have NPCs walking around and I don't know, you get to like float around and like find the person that you want and then like influence and it would be like the the thing that you're advertising now is this game has this really crazy way that you can build your character without a menu and it, you're you're this kid in whatever and your decision and you have to select what family you're born to or i i don't know you um the character creator is you you are in this ethereal zone and the ethereal zone gives you, or you can walk through the ethereal zone and pick your body parts off the off the walls of this whatever as you go to create your character when you're out in the world. There's like a million ways that you can you can build a character creator. the The creator itself, to me, is the um, is the is not a feature. It's it's a again, give me Blender, <laughs> like. Let me just give me a 3D sculpting tool, okay? If you're going to give me the ability to slide my cheekbones in or out, like just give me something. I don't know. It's it's the unfortunate cuz character creators are just copy and paste, copy hit. You copy and paste across every single genre. Uh unless the character creation is doing features like I'm okay kind of with how Baldur's Gate does it, but I still don't like that it's a menu. I, I would love to be able to somehow select my Baldur's Gate character inside the idea of uh, of using my abilities. Um, Culprit said, you think if you're playing and you got killed, maybe you choose your scar after surviving a certain amount of time. However, 20 years plus gameplay to make a character could just... Yeah, oh, no, I get that. Exactly, exactly. I feel like there's... Um, but why would you get to choose your scar? I'll point that out. If you get attacked by something... Why are you the one that gets to choose that your character has a scar? Now, it was real, real immersion is you get hit, you lose a finger, your character now has four fingers. 
and there's the immersion. So, but you want to, it's what we build up into. It's like the, it's like what genetics do you have first? And then how do you build the genetics out from there? Um, so I, I don't know, a big rant, but. Waifu and getting me. into the game, my first impressions were really quite.